Hi, I'm James, and in this video we are taking a look at the Dell Inspiron uh, 3481 laptop. And this is one of the i3 base machines. And um, first of all, we are going to start by just removing the back plate, or base of the machine. Uh, all the screws on this are identical, or should be. So we are going to start by undoing those. We are just using a two millimeter flip screwdriver bit. So just working around the base here. Interesting, these ones not lifting out too easily, so we will take a look at that once we have done these initial ones. They may just come free as we tip it over. So what we're going to do is leave those in place. Haven't dropped out as we turn the machine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our plastic pry tool and we're going to insert it between the palm rest and the base of the machine and just begin lifting the palm rest out. Hopefully as we do this those screws should then release. Relatively simple one to do this, uh, not too hard to unhook the base from the top panel or top palm rest and in doing so we should then get into things quite easily. So with that done we can now close the lid back over and put the laptop back this way up and then just gently pull up on the base and now interestingly those three screws there actually retained the others out. So having done that we can see now this particular model is equipped with the SSD and not the hard drive. So the first thing that we are going to do is we have the battery here and we are going to disconnect that just by lifting this tab and then on either side pulling on the little edges of the connector and that ensures that the battery is disconnected, machine completely unpowered. To replace the battery we now have these four screws holding it in place. It is a YRDD6 type battery. So with the four screws removed from the base of the machine we can now lift the battery out. If you are replacing the battery completely, then then you may find uh, you need to remove this cable and connect it to the new battery uh, if it does not come with one as standard. To refit it then, we simply put it in place and screw down the battery back into position. Likewise, if you want to replace the CMOS battery, that we can see is just here, and that can be done just by levering that out, replacing it with a new battery there. So what we can see with this system is we have the SSD here in a little carrier, and by removing
both of these screws we can then remove the SSD. This particular drive is a, a 2242 I believe however if we want to fit a 2280 we can simply discard this little holder and fit the longer drive directly into there and it would be the same process as fitting this so simply slot the drive in and then screw down on the end there. The drive that is fitted as standard we can see here if we wanted to fit another small one we just go through the additional step of removing this screw so you could retain this holder and fit a 2242 drive and we can see here so this is an NVMe type drive um, you may find that this will also accept SATA drives but I would generally recommend sticking with NVMe so we're going to replace that into its caddy and then refit that into the machine. Like I say, if you have a 2280 drive, just discard this caddy and fit the longer drive, as this is effectively just an adapter to make it 2280 anyway. And one thing that is nice in this, despite the fact that Dell um, supply this machine without a uh, hard drive in this case, we still get the caddy and although it's not attached the cable as well. Um, HP I found are really bad for just completely omitting all of this in models without the um, hard drive and it's generally so expensive if the parts are even available to buy them that it isn't worth doing. Um, a little unusual for Dell that they've sort of taped it in there rather than just sort of fitting it as I've seen Lenovo do in some of theirs. Um, but it is really good guys Dell for actually just bundling in the cable if you want to add in a hard drive at a later date. So we take these four screws out and we can remove the little caddy. We can even see the drive mounting screws are included in the caddy for attaching the drive and the cable for the hard drive is included here as well so we just untape that we then find so we have the motherboard connector you would probably need to just lift the battery out for doing this but then cable slots in sorry wrong one slots into this HDD connector here and then you can see there are fold marks for putting this down under the battery and connecting it up to the drive as so or you could fit it above the battery I'm not fitting a hard drive to it today so I'm not going to actually use that cable but we will tape it back into place in case we ever want to add one in the future and then again just re-adding the caddy. So actually really nice of Dell to do that, it's quite unusual to see all the kit you need for upgrading the laptop actually included in the laptop. But for now we simply replace these four screws And so we could have fitted that drive there if we were doing that today.
removing the fan we have a simple case of two screws hold the fan in place and we can then lift it out just being careful to unthread that cable there and then unplug the connector from here we can then clean the edge of the heatsink if we are finding that is dusted up as it is I'm going to refit the fan and screw it back down don't do what I always do which is then reassemble the machine and realize when you get the BIOS warning that you never plug the fan back in if you want to remove the heatsink to repaste it four screws on the base here and then just lift up and you can obviously clean off the thermal paste and do that there. So with all that done, we are now ready to refit the back panel to the laptop. So first thing we want to do is reattach the battery by just slotting that connector back into place. Refit the base of the machine. And so we are going to start by locating the back corner with these three retained screws in it and screw those down into place whilst Pressing around the rest of it to clip things down. With that done, we can now refit the rest of the screws. And of course, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, do just let me know in the comments. Um, I will obviously try to answer as many as I can. Um, I don't get around to answering every question just in terms of time available but I always try to help where possible. Give the video a like and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching. And then just as a last bit, having refitted all of those, we just want to press around the inside just to make sure all the clips are engaged and we're done.